Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us revise some rules for operation on real numbers. Our rule 1 says that for a number which is greater than 0, if for example root 4 is equal to 2, then we can write 4 is equal to 2 square. That means we can remove the square root sign by squaring the other side of the equality. In general, we can say that let a greater than 0 be a real number. Then, under if under root of a is equal to b, then that would mean that a is equal to b square. According to the second rule, if A is greater than 0, a real number, and B is also greater than 0, a real number, then under root of AB can be written as under root of A into under root of B. For example, if we have under root of 15, we can factorize it as under root of 3 into 5. And that can be written as under root of 3 into under root of 5. For positive numbers A and B, under root of A by B is equal to under root of A by under root of B. For example, under root of 7 by 8 will be equal to under root of 7 by under root of 8. Our fourth rule states that for a and b greater than 0, if we have under root of a plus under root of b multiplied by under root of a minus under root of b, it is equal to under root of a whole square minus under root of b whole square and the square root sign gets cancelled giving us a minus b. On similar lines a plus root b into a minus root b will give us a square minus b. Square of root of a plus root of b will give us root of a whole square plus 2 into root a into root b plus root b whole square which is equal to a plus 2 root ab plus b. And lastly, root of a plus root of b into root of c plus root of d will be equal to root of ac plus root of ad. Since we multiply root a with c, then root a with d plus root of bc plus root of bd. As we have multiplied root b with root c and root b with root d. It is important to note that a, b, c, d are all positive real numbers. We have already learned to find the square root of a number using long division method. 
here let us try to find the square root symmetrically say we have to find the square root of 3.5 symmetrically to start with we mark a point a then we mark a point b at 3.5 cm from a and join ab the next step is that from b mark a distance of 1 cm and name the point as c so we have a line segment ac which is 3.5 plus 1 cm that is equal to 4.5 cm long next step is to find the midpoint of ac and name it as o next step is to draw a semicircle with center as o and oc as radius so we take our compass keep the pointed end on o and open it till c then draw the semicircle draw a line perpendicular to ac at b and let it intersect at point d measure the length of bd that will be equal to the value of under root of 3.5 we can see that length of bd is equal to under root of 3.5 and hence symmetrically we have found out the, the value of under root 3.5 in general to find root of x where x is a real number which is greater than 0 draw ab equal to x unit then mark c so that bc is equal to 1 unit then mark point o such that it is the center of ac and draw a semicircle with os and ocs radius then draw a perpendicular to ac at point b and let it intersect the semicircle at point d then measure bd and we have bd is equal to root x